I, I want it to be more of a surprise when it happens. So, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Because, you know... No, I don't know. Are you, you going to write me a note? Okay. No, I'm not going to write you a note. I he's he's going to write me a note because he can't talk to me right now. Cause it's, uh, no, it's actually... Oh, his Twitter. He's putting his Twitter down for our good friend Chibo-san. No, but it's <laughs> chibo -san. All right, so who do we have playing right now at this match? This looks like CT0 versus somebody else from Southern California. Are you sure? He looks and like a NorCal player. He might also be a Northern California player. So we're looking at CT0 versus Gar? Gar. I've heard that name. I don't think it's Sheik versus... Yeah. don't remember where he's from, but I know I know that name, so... He's from California. I th <laughs> I'll let you guys know that. <laughs> All right, so the match starts. All right, so Zero. I'm actually pretty interested to see Zero um, on our coast because you kind of see him on the East Coast, but you know, I don't know what that means. I see him beat some people, lose to some people. Are they good? Are they bad? We don't know. We don't, we're not over there, so <laughs> I want to see Zero uh, against the people we can compare to. And what's really interesting about Zero as a player, he came from Brawl. He does. I know he plays PM as well. He adapted to melee fairly quickly. He was able to pick up a lot of the fundamentals and the tech skill as well, you can see them. Honestly, if you're a Smash player, any of the Smash players, like, all you need to get good at the other Smash games is the tech skill. And obviously, like, that's the hardest in melees to get the melee tech skill, but what, once you see, like, top Raw players come over to, and get the melee tech skill, like, you see they have the smarts, they know how to play Smash games, like, sure, it's different, but they'll normally, like, any top Raw player will at, at least be, like, a mediocre melee player with right. basic tech skill, in my, in, like, give or take, in my opinion. And Gar taking the early lead. I was actually, I was hoping, well not hoping, but I pretty had much had Zero pinned as the, as the, the dominant player in this matchup right now. But like, um, Gar is actually holding up really well. Yeah, it's just one stock. You'll see. I've seen Zero uh, have some trouble early on, and then bring it back and turn it around. Like kind of, because he's a top player, so you know he's. You'll see that he'll be more one to adapt than he will, uh, or he'll be more likely to adapt if he's losing in the first place. Gar going out for the. Guard, it. Nice up smash, but actually wasn't able to get the kill. Ooh, it was that was a pretty good uh, up smash though because Sheik landed inside of him, so he was able to like up smash before Sheik pushed him some direction or messed something up, or you never know. Goes for the shield grab, and Sheik's like, no, no. <laughs> Sheik's the master shield grab. That's what I. Know what? With. No. No, you don't think so? Uh, okay, she's not bad at it because her shield is so huge that, like, depending on what your shield pressure is, eventually you're going to mess that up. Okay. But, I don't know, if anyone's the master shield grabber, it's like Mars because his grab range is like 10 miles long. Dude. But yeah, Gar is uh, holding down pretty well. Nice shield grab. Oh, of course. Hard, tries to hard read the tech in place and uh, did not happen. I don't know if I like an up smash anyway, that percentage on a tech chase against Fox. I don't know if you can get the follow-up. I'm not much of a sheep player. But. Two to one. Gar has a, a solid one stock lead, but you know, like you said earlier, Zero is one to adapt. So we'll see if he actually starts to change it up. <laughs> Down smash it. Zero's not used to the crouch cancels, I guess. It's definitely something difficult to pick up. I mean, me being a former ball player, it's oh. like crouch cancel can be a Alright, you you played Brawl too. Did you start in melee or did you start with I started in melee back in 04, and then I just played on and off for a while, and then I focused on brawl. You focused on brawl, okay, so. Okay, see, I like that better. That was, that, oh, get him, get him. Ooh, great. So I like that down smash. Like, at that percentage, up smashing the fox at, what, 120, 130, you're not gonna, it's not gonna kill him, it's fox. So he opted for the down smash, got into an edge guard position, threw some nice middle ins. Had a nice little turnaround tech skill and be able to finish him off. I was really impressed with how the needle set up for like just switching around back there, so it was pretty cool. And he did the turnaround back there like just fast, like just everything was just like just perfect. So, yes. so zero counter picks uh, stadium. Great Fox stage. We have a uh, NorCal's Nick Witty. Okay, so I bet you Gar is from NorCal because we have Nick Witty or uh, cheering him on. Cool. Wow. Ooh, nice needles, but the little lip. That, that is the one thing about the stage. If you angle too much, you're going to get caught under it. Kind, kind of like Battlefield. But uh oh. That read? That uh, uh, reaction. But for the most part, Gar's, uh, it looks like he's just been kind of in control. Zero. So Zero, you see, is running around, I think, a lot more and shooting the gun this game. Oh. And you can hear and, people uh, in the crowd cheering on. Our good friend Chibo, yeah. <laughs> you hear the claps in our mic. 
No bias though. <laughs> He's not on the mic. He can do whatever he wants. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great kill oh, from man. Zero. And the the, the Chibo the, the the Chibo encouragement led Zero into a nice little shine spike. So. Uh, Chibo reserving his powers for the most important. Oh, now now he's just gonna throw this. <laughs> They're both having nair battles. All right, this should be dead. First wax. Oh. Okay, I actually like that down smash. Um, cause Sheik wasn't gonna be able to get to the other side of Fox, and if Sheik went for the ledge, I don't think she'd be able to get that sweet spot because she was just above it. Okay. Like the only way she can sweet spot the ledge, from what I could be wrong, but from what I remember is if she's even or below it, she'll get the sweet spot. But if she's above it, like she clips into it before she sweet spots it, or something like that, or maybe it's vice versa. I don't know. When yeah. she clips into it, that'll. But be I know the there's a way, like she'll clip into it, so she uh, loses her, like she or she, she has a chance to be hit. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, zero. Zero. See, that giant spike really turned things around, though, because he killed Sheik at, what, 10%? But he seems to be at least capitalizing on those, yeah. some of the roles that Zero's tossing out there. Uh, nice nice by Zero. After he threw the needle, he knew that uh, going for the ledge was probably a really safe option. He just thought he was going to get there first. Great near out of shield. Kind of, like, didn't do the shining. I think it kind of... Uh, Messed up Gar a little with his uh, out of shield. Uh, oh no, he didn't turn around. Oh, but then Zero missed his wave shine. Run up off smash. Zero right. responding with a, another win of his own on Pokemon Stadium. So 1-1. One, one. Um, Zero obviously it did look like he improved a little bit. But at the same time, that one shine spike was like the big tide turner in that matchup because if Gar had a full another base a full another stock, like zero was basically dead and anything could have happened. So hopefully Gar like, you know, it doesn't get a little get too shaken up back after that. Cause you have to know when you're going to the third game, like you have to keep your confidence depending so on how you lost or whatever. And I wanted to ask you, like why do you think Gar chose Dreamland versus uh Zero's Foxes? Um I think he thinks it'll help him live longer. And that even though Zero's camping, like, uh, Sheik's fast enough, he hasn't really had an issue. He didn't, like, have an issue with the, the lasers last match. So I think he's thinking, like, bigger stage, and he probably likes it. He'll get uh, kills on Fox quicker, and hope he, I think he's probably hoping to live a little longer, but... It's hard, because in these matchups, like, both Sheik and Fox are going to kind of kill each other roughly. I don't want to say the same percent no matter the stage, but, like, edge guarding Sheik's really easy. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's uh kind of a uh, you 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 like go through the flow chart. It's like did she go here? Yes. Hit this. Did she go here? Yes. And, you know, it's like get her off the stage, and it just repetition takes a while. Whereas Sheik should basically be, I don't want to say gimping Fox, but like edge guarding Fox. Like if he gets off the stage far enough after ten percent, it's pretty easy just to finish the edge guarding Fox. So like right here, he should. Die. Well, that was a bad DI, so he's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but if he had better DI, Sheik would have most likely been able to cover whatever he did and get him off the stage again and just, you know, rinse repeat for a few times. I like oh, that. no. Oh, but not the needle. Did I he want to shoot needles? I'm guessing he wanted to shoot needles there, but... I haven't really seen any uh, Shino stalls from uh, Gar. No, he seems a little more aggressive than uh, than your casual Shika. Just oh, oh. I think he realized that uh, he made his tech, and so to, and to stop himself from getting crash canceled something, he just kind of kept jabbing, and it worked out pretty well. Uh oh. Oh, the reads. Oh, nice. oh he had it, but. Poor little, kind of misspaced the dash attack. It can be hard, especially with dash attacks. The angle. His angles on those upbeats are really insane. And. Uh, and CT0, uh, or uh, Chibo, in the background, clapping again. <laughs> so going back and forth. And. This could be death. Uh, so, uh, Zero has actually been taking in place a lot. Uh, and Gar's kind of caught, caught track of that, but he's just having trouble actually landing his. Oh my god. That was really nice. Landing his down smashes, so. Hopefully he can. Uh, or not down smash, dash attacks. So hopefully he either fixes that or gets some down, just down smashes. You can hear the voice of the NorCal players in the background cheering for Gar. Well, I think, and, and I think if anything, this would be quote unquote an upset for. Uh, Absolutely. To the East Coast. Maybe not to NorCal. NorCal's like, nah, dude, we got zero on lock. Gar, don't. <laughs> the East Coast Miko. Oh, he didn't go for the ledge though. Poor choice. He go for the force Oh gosh. Okay, so she kind of like her grab, like lingered, the the her like. Nice. What do you call it? 
you call it? Hurt box lingered with the grab, so Z Zero was able to get a grab in a situation where he normally would. That was a very risky board air. Oh, he did it just a little too late. I like the air dodge, but Zero kind of, I think, reacted to it pretty quick and was able to. Oh, uh, this, this is not good. That's a lot. It took 48% though. Size of the lead, but still, in the last stock, you know. Oh, uh oh, he's off the stage. Not a great spot you want to be in. See, and this is what I'm talking about the flow chart. Like, he goes for it, get up, back air. It's a, it's a flow chart. He's taking a lot of percent. Oh! <gasps> Very intelligent. He, oh. Those were great needles. Uh oh. Here it is. Here it is. And he caught on to the second place. Oh. Nice read. No! He messed up. Oh, is that is that it? I think that's it. <gasps> what? Oh my god, the top of kids. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Great string. So many techs in place. Like I. Oh. oh. That Great there. Oh, oh and spacing oh, back out. off the stage. <gasps> oh, he didn't. Two. 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 This is this is dangerous. One up smash and Sheik is dead. So he's dead. he's like you can see <gasps> he's watching out for that. Almost cut. Nice. Oh. Oh, nice angle by Zero. But this is any hit. Oh, I'm I'm like shaking. Oh she no, not is, a good spot. You she's not dead. <gasps> the <I'm> Wispy! <laughs> oh my god, I think that's it. No! Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wispy Woods saving the day for Gar. Wow. Oh my gosh. I That was a major upset for me. Uh, nice. Uh, Kelly, baby. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Easy. You know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Easy. I should have had. I should have been supporting my coach from the start. Fraud player, fine. Don't need to fly zero out. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that was, a, that was a tight battle. That was an incredibly but tense and tight battle. But you see, like, Zero, like, started doing a lot better. Uh, but then Gar actually started adjusting, too, near the end of that last match. He was, he was, his tech chases were on.